in this video we will discuss about bones of lower extremities this first bone is called femur this is tibia this flat bone a thin one this is fibula and this is our feet now we will discuss the interior aspect of the femur this is called the head this region this is called the head head of the femur this is the neck this is greater trunker this is called the greater trunker this is intertrochantic line this is lesser trunker here you can see patellar surface here the patella gonna rest this is adductor tubercle this is the interior aspect of the femur let's revise this portion is known as the head this is called the neck this is greater trochanter this is intertrochantic line this is lesser trochanter this is the patellar surface this is the adductor tubercle now let's see the posterior aspect same like this is the head of the femur here you can see the knob here it uh, it actually has a pit over here so if we remove this knob you can see a depression so this is a pit head neck greater trochanter quadrate tubercle this is called the quadrate tubercle here you can see this is the lesser trochanter in between the greater and the lesser there is gluteal tuberosity over here here you can see this straight line this is called linea alba below this here this is the medial condyle this is the popliteal surface this region is the popliteal surface medial condyle popliteal surface intercondyle notch this space is called intercondyle notch this space is called intercondyle notch this is called medial condyle this is called popliteal surface this is the lateral condyle i repeat this is the head it has a pit over here it has a greater trochanter lesser trochanter quadrate tubercle in between and then we have gluteal tuberosity over here here you can see linea alba a straight line then this is the medial condyle this region is called medial condyle this is the popliteal surface this space is called intercondyle notch this lateral surface is called lateral condyle this is the posterior aspect of the femur this was our interior aspect now we will discuss the other bones of the lower extremities this is called tibia and this is called the fibula now we will discuss the interior aspect of the tibia this is the intercondyle eminence this mid region is called intercondyle eminence this is medial condyle this region is called lateral condyle this is called the tubercle this raised region is known as tubercle this was our intercondyle eminence this was the medial condyle this is the lateral condyle and this region is called the tubercle this is the shaft of the tibia this is the subcutaneous surface this is called medial malleolus this is called lateral malleolus 
this is now the fibula this is the head of the fibula this is called superior tibiofibular joint where the head of the fibula articulates with tibia so this form superior tibiofibular joint in between tibia and fibula there is intraosseous membrane over here in between and this joint where the lower portion of this fibula and tibia articulates it form inferior tibiofibular joint in between where the lateral malleolus articulates with the lower part of the fibula it forms the inferior tibiofibular joint so now i repeat the interior aspect of the tibia it comprises of intercondyle eminence this raised portion over here is known as intercondyle eminence this is the medial condyle lateral condyle this raised area is known as the tubercle this was the shaft of the tibia and this is the head of the fibula the head articulates with the lateral condyle of the tibia and it forms the superior tibiofibular joint this hole forms the superior tibiofibular joint at the lower portion we discussed the medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus the lower part of the fibula articulates with the lateral malleolus and it forms the inferior tibiofibular joint if we discuss the posterior aspect of the tibia and fibula the parts included are popliteal notch here you can see popliteal notch this is called stellate process this is the popliteal notch and there this line is called salial line and here is the region for talus and this is the calcaneum the dorsal aspect of the bones of the foot include these are called the phalanges this one till these these are called the phalanges so this is basically the dorsal aspect of the bones of the foot these bones are called phalanges these are metatarsals and these bones are called the tarsals in which these bones are called cuneiform bone cuneiform bone and this bone over here this is called cuboid bone cuboid bone this is cubical in shape here you can see this is cubical in shape this is navicular bone see it's shape like this is navicular bone navicular bone and this bone over here is called the calcaneum so let's revise the bones of the foot it includes the phalanges these are the metatarsals and these are tarsals tarsals includes these bone fused bone these are called cuneiform bones this is cuboid bone and this is called navicular bone and the bone which on which you put your most of the weight this is called calcaneum heel which forms the heel